Well, today I'm working on the cannonball bale bed. This motor's been going out for quite a while. As you can see, if you look down here closely, get out of the sunlight here, maybe. You can see this wire right here is getting a little, well, it's burnt. And ultimately this terminal got way too hot in here and it cooked it in there. That's, that's kind of unfortunate. I've been able to fix this and get it by about four different times, but it's just time to put a new motor in there. I got a nice day today, so we're gonna pop this this old motor out and put in a new one. This is an old solenoid system that turns on and on and off and runs the arms. Here's a new one, it looks way different, so we'll see how it all ends up coming together. I'm sure it'll work pretty good. There's just two 916 bolts on the bottom side of this that you have to unscrew and then pop these off in the wires. Like always, before you start, take a little video with your phone or something so you know how everything goes back together. But uh, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to move, rotate this solenoid down a little lower because that seems a little high, but we'll see when we get it in there. Anyways, let's pop this out real fast and see if we can't get it. Well, we got the old one out pretty easy. These, uh, these bolts were in there pretty good. As you can see, they're corroded down there pretty hard. But uh, one of the things I noticed was there was quite a bit of corrosion where these bolts screwed in right there and on the back side of this thing here too. And that might be part of the problem of why this thing was going out is it was having a hard time getting a good ground and then just got a little hot. So since I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean these up as best I can. Kind of quick likely here. So I ordered this from Cannonball. This is a Cannonball bale bed. I ordered this motor directly from Cannonball. These older motors that I just took out are obsolete now. So these are the only ones you can get. I think it has to do with the solenoid system. But uh, this is a 2000, probably an 03 Mott bale bed. And it's 23. So this one's 20 years old. It's, it's held up for a long time. So no complaints here. It's done more than its fair share of anything you could ask for it to do. I mean, really. That should do it. Emphasis on the word should. <laughs> well, I guess hook the battery back up. Go from there. Left arm out. Let's see if this arm will move out. Oh yeah. Let's see if the right arm will move out. It has some air in it too. Yeah. Hey. Now let's see if it'll unload. It says load. Look at that puppy go. That is a lot faster. All right, all right, all right. Like I've had this one on hand. I knew this one was gonna go out one of these days. So I had, I've had that one on hand for about two years. Just waiting for this one to definitely kick the bucket. And I guess a good day to do it. But we got her done, so let's go see if we can go pick up a round bale, and hopefully it works a lot better. The light that we see closing in so fast ahead It's hope, it's getting clear The more I think of all the tough times we survived The more it makes me smile If nothing's broken us yeah, nothing ever will Cause dreams are hard to kill 